Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I do this whole series of animal face bags. Well, we started doing a new series, which is animal face pouches. These are a little bit smaller and they're square and they lend themselves better to different faces for different animals. And so today I'm going to teach you how to make this very cute pug-faced pouch. Now, this was requested by a whole bunch of you, so I better give the shout outs now. Kizzy V, Janessa DT Designs, Chloe's Creative Blogs, Ang Khan B, Aparna S, Melanie R, Alejandra A, Sum K, Lokesh B, Adalis D, Duct Tape is My Life 102, and Lori S. And this is a brand new pouch brought to you guys, and it's a pug. So I'm gonna teach you how to make the little pug pouch right now. For this project, you're going to need the duct tape pouch with handle, a piece of duct tape fabric, five and a half by four and a half, the template, which you can download from the website, an X-Acto knife, scissors, duct tape, work surface, and some sort of closure. That can either be sticky back Velcro or magnets. So you'll be using this downloadable template and everything will be marked as to whether it's a sticker or if it's fabric. You'll have your piece of fabric and you're going to cut according to the template to make the flap. We're gonna attach the flap first and attaching flaps to these little pouches is really easy and I love it so much more then the purse is just so much easier. So what you're gonna do, take a piece of tape, lay it on the back side here of your flap. If you have a little extra, you just cut it right off. I think what's nice about these and makes them easier to do is the fact that they're flat as opposed to being um, three-dimensional, like the, like the purses are. I mean, everything's three-dimensional, but meaning they're not puffed out. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, see I've got that, Put that piece of tape so it's half on, half off. There's the sticky. And I'm going to place this right up there along the edge. Now, I'm leaving a tiny little bit. See that little itty bitty bit? That's going to make it open and close really nice and easy. So I'm just going to take that tiny little bit there. And I'm just going to take another strip of tape. And this can be just one inch. wide here and just lay it on here and seal this off. Now if you don't know how to make this pouch, make sure to check the link up above and it'll teach you everything you know, need to know to make this pouch. And adding that flap is super simple, as you can see. Now, the one thing I want to do is just add my closure at the same moment in time here. And so I've got a magnet here. I'm just going to take my magnet, doesn't matter which way it's going, place a piece of tape over top of it. And what I meant by which way it's going, I'm meaning the polarity of it, because what I'm going to do now is just take another piece of tape, place it over top, sticky side up, then I'm going to take my magnet, drop it on, and we do this with our pouches and bag, excuse me, with our bags as well. Then just fold this over, but again, it's easier because this is nice and flat. Push it down, then just open it up and seal it, and now you've got the perfect placement right there for your magnet. Let's add the face. So the first thing that we're going to do, believe it or not, is actually the mouth. And the tongue is going to go right here, but the mouth goes underneath it. So what I want to do is get the, figure out where my tongue is going to go there. I'm going to take my mouth and place it underneath where I think it should go. There we go. Because my mouth part goes first, then my tongue. There we go. And then the puggy face 
I love pugs. Pugs are my favorite. And I'm just going to place the, the muzzle. I guess that's called a muzzle. Right over top there. So that's going over the black mouth part there. And then I'm going to place his nose right at the top of his muzzle. And he's going to get some little black eyes. And another little black guy. And of course, every little doggy needs a little shine in his eyes because they're bright and exciting. Give him a little bit of personality. One there. One there. Okay, now we're going to add these ears. So the ears are actually a double-sided sticker. And I have a link that shows you how to make the double-sided sticker as well. Now, what I want to do with these double-sided stickers is I actually want to open this up here. And I want to pull out, what I want to do is pull out this parchment paper. Now, I'm going to cut the parchment paper right here. It kind of looks like a banana, doesn't it? Right here. And then I'm going to seal this back up. Then I'm going to pull open the part that has the parchment in it so that I can put this on either side of my puppy face. So let's get this so it doesn't cover his eyes too much. I don't want it to cover his Oh, don't, don't seal, don't seal. I don't want it to cover his eyes too much, so I'm just going to put the first, I folded that back there so I can get this placed a little bit better. There we go. You could save yourself, I guess, this problem by putting the eyes afterwards, but there we go. That's one. Let me do that one more time on the other side so you can see. So I'm going to leave this together, I'm going to pull the bottom up. And the reason I did this instead of adding the first sticker and then the second sticker, I find that when you're trying to do big pieces like this, trying to get them to line up exactly is really hard. So I'm just going to take that, leaving a piece of parchment in there, and I'm going to line this up, just go boop. And then I'm going to pull the parchment out on this side. Fold that back. I can even keep the parchment on still. There we go. And I open it up here. Take that piece of parchment. There we go. Put the second side of the ear down. There we go. Now, the only thing he's missing now is his doggy collar. So let's get his collar. And you want the collar to be right underneath where his little face goes. So there's his collar. And his name. You could even put a name on here if you wanted to. I think I'm going to name him Pugly. And there you have it, your very own pug pouch. If you like this pug pouch, give us the thumbs up. And if you want to check out more animal face bags and pouches, make sure you check the link above and the link below because we've got a playlist that is loaded with everything from rainbow unicorns to the fabulous little pug you see right here. And for more fun ideas with duct tape, check us out sofa-world.com.